Assalamu alaikum, this is Sudratul Muntaha and let's get to ride with another new video. In this channel, I talk about real life problems we face, mistakes that we make and the lessons that we learn from those, some book reviews and blogs. So, in the last video, I have talked about some points. So, in those points, uh, in like any of the point i have included that i will make a video on how to decide faster so today in this video we will know about some definite points which i have followed to decide faster like decide anything faster so i will share those points with you and i hope that will be helpful for you and you will find this video really informative so let's start all right so the first point to start with is limit your options now, what this actually means is that, for example, if you have two books in mind that I have to buy those books like in next week, by next week, and I'm really confused to buy which because my mom has given like a limited amount of money to buy. <laughs> so I can buy both. So what you have to do is just decide between those two books, which one you have to buy by condensing your options. That means the book that has least amount of options but the most important ones, then you have to go for that book if those options play a vital role in your reading, in your reading life. But if that book or like the other one, if that book has a bulky amount of options and you don't know what to cancel out and what to put, then you have to just like erase that book from your mind because that book is not for now. Like, literally not for now you can buy it next other time but as the, this book is playing a vital role and has the most important options well, like for now then go for this so that's the magic of like limiting your conditions or limiting your options which will actually help you to think faster and go for this one that yes i have to go for this one all right the second point is gather opinions look we have already trained our mind in this way that what other people say about us or gossip about us it really doesn't matter but uh, in other case it might matter because there might be some valuable points on other people's gossip about you so one article i have found on a page i can't remember actually it was like anti loneliness or anti lonely something like that i will give you on the screen so there i have seen it written that uh, other people's gossip or their uh, like talkings about you or their point of view about you might matter because there might be have some there might be some positivity about you on those views but uh, there might be some other also results like uh, they might be taking your ideas or your actions negatively but other than that there might be some positive like talkings too so now i have been reading a book which is uh, of jay shitty think like a monk so that book is, uh, is about to train your mind to find positivity in everything so yes uh, it's not possible all the time but we can train our mind for of course so for that reason we can find some type of valuable points from other people's opinion so you can you cannot take opinions from any type of stranger you want you have to take opinion from first yourself because no one knows better than you uh, also also you can take almighty's help that's not also that's the most important part you have to take almighty's help then you can go for the people who know you the best okay your friends your close friends your best friend your mom dad sister brother etc whoever they are in your family you you are likely to find uh, more type of good options from them then go for them go for their opinions go for their valuable opinions what they think about the decision you want to take so now you have to point out those opinions and like see if those opinions or those discussions about like your decision is uh, or is somehow matching to your like your attitude that uh, yes I also want to do and she have told me to do this that means uh, it might work for me so if this type of emotions or thoughts occur then you have to put that option under your decision all right the third point is divide between good and bad now you have to divide between the good actions and bad good and bad actions and good and bad results means what are the reasons what are the good reasons you are like 
why you are taking this decision what are the good reasons reasons behind this so there might not be any type of bad reasons because we don't decide for our own bad of course so you have to take a piece of paper and write the reasons the or the good reasons why you want to take those take that decision and what are the good reasons behind this and after taking this decision in future what type of good or bad consequence you will face or good and bad consequence you will face and you have to check out the good consequence that will happen how it will positively affect your life or your career and the bad consequence that might somehow happen what that type of what that consequence will actually how the consequence will actually affect your life or career so you have to decide those while taking your decision because one decision might somehow hamper your life you can't tell today okay so you have to decide it like to, uh, through condensing your ideas what i have told earlier the other two points you can take those help and also condense your ideas take valuable opinions from your close ones and boom that will actually help you to decide faster and to write the good and bad consequences so if you see that if uh, taking that decision will lead to much bad consequences and lesser good consequences then sorry you have to like throw the decision out from your mind if that decision has good consequences on your career or like lesser co bad consequences on the list of the decision then yes go for it so like this you can like i think what i have done is through this taking good taking decisions faster so when i just thought that okay this decision has a longer good effect on my life or might have a longer good effect on my life okay surely i'm going for this because i know Already, people who have told me that I have this type of uh, attitude toward this profession or like decision, then you should go for this. Okay, finally, I'm going for that. All right. So the fourth point is, think like you are meditating. Now, while meditating, we actually don't think, but also we think. We are thinking that we are not thinking, but actually we are thinking something. I haven't tried meditating uh, anytime so I don't have the right to talk about this anyways what I meant by this point is when you have done limiting your options when you have done taking valuable opinions from your close ones when you have already done writing the good and bad consequences of this of those that specific decision then you should go for like sitting and just meditating feel like you're meditating but actually you are thinking about that and only that decision that is what i want to say that take some specific time because okay i'll explain that uh, later you have to take some specific time for example in 24 hours you have to take 15 minutes let's say you are taking 15 minutes for just sitting down in a calm environment like you are meditating and you have to just think about that decision only and you have to rotate everything in your mind what people have said positively what people have said negatively what the bad consequences are what the good consequences are what are your attitude or you are you passionate about the decision or not how it will affect your future positively or negatively so you have to check the percentage after thinking about that in a range and if you say that 51 percent has shown that if you go for that decision it will be like you'll be successful in life or it might get your career positively so then go for it so this is how you have to train your mind because if you take more and more amount of time in deciding like taking on one decision it is really useless because time and tide wait for none which for none i have heard, yes we have all we all have heard about that it the time doesn't come back so you don't have to waste time behind one decision or taking one decision so this is also a part of condensing your ideas like condensing your time so take just specific amount of time and like at that specific time you just have to think about all those points that you have gathered till now and then go for the decision whether you want to take or not so this is the final point okay so this is actually where the decision taking step stops all right i will be going for it or not that's it all right so today's video end here and i think i haven't been able to explain that much of points on today's video because what i have thought about this video or today's topic are these points because 
I have tried this point for several years, these points for several years, and this have worked for me. All right, taking less time, condensing our ideas or thoughts. So these have worked for me. So for this room, I have shared this with you and I hope you will find this useful. And uh, if I say that I have many things, many things to try other than these points, then I will surely make a next video, make a video on this topic next time inshallah but till then what you have to do is subscribe my youtube channel if you haven't and also check my other videos because those are better i think than today's one um, but today's one was i think informative or worth sharing so that's why i have made a video on it uh, and you can also follow me on my other social medias instagram facebook the links will be in the description and also take care of yourself and your family we will meet inshallah in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.